Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on this episode of the lab, um, we're going to be talking about the D&D uh, H2 Ocean Salt. Um, this is what we're using on the lab. You guys see my last episode? We had the 250 gallon vat that I had uh, outside and with uh, the bag of a D&D salt that we're mixing. So after right now, when we go from here, we're going to go outside and we're going to mix that salt together. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on what's going to go on today's episode. So this is the salt guys, you can get it all different sizes. This is the, like the, the nano version, if you guys have a smaller tank and you don't need as much salt, you can definitely use this one here. This is a, it's formulated, it's balanced, it's got your magnesium, calcium and alkalinity. Uh, the one thing that's great about the D&D uh, salt, it has a guarantee what is in the bucket is what you get. So if you, you can see here on the side, it'll tell you your guarantees and it'll tell you what's all in it. So you got your pH, it's 8.3, your DKH, 10.5, uh, five and then your calcium 440 and your magnesium is uh, 1340 so one thing with uh, D&D as well they add extra uh, magnesium for your tank because we all know uh, your corals need the magnesium for to absorb all your calcium so it's very important guys to keep your magnesium levels all proper all right so this is the salt we're going to be using um, David Saxby I don't know if you guys have seen his tank um, amazing, his uh, tanks run on uh, d d salt. So uh, I'll put up a couple pictures, you guys can check out his tank. It's amazing looking. So that's great guys, this is a great salt. I can't wait, excited to use this for a year on these rigs. So one of the other things that's crucial to use too is a refractometer. So this here is the H2 Ocean d d uh, refractometer. And what a refractometer is, it helps, uh, you can test the salinity of your water. Cause, and if you have a reef tank, you wanna keep it about a 1.025, and that's the salinity you're looking for. So if you look in here in the HQ Ocean uh, refractometer, it comes, so this is the refractometer here. You put a little bit of uh, your tank water on here. And what you'll do is first you're gonna calibrate it, but you'll look through and you'll wanna test your water after you mix it. And you're looking for a 1.025 salinity for your reef tank. So it comes with one refractometer. Um, this is uh, the solution so you can, uh, you can set it. And it comes with a little uh, screwdriver. This is where you end up right here, is where you calibrate it. You want to make sure it's always at zero and this is just for your test file. So you take your sample of water, you'll put it on top of the little crystal end, you'll close it up and then you'll look through here and you're going to be looking for a 1.025. So it's nice that D&D has their own uh, refractometer that goes uh, with their salt. So guys, what we need to do now is we need to go out to the, the 250 gallon vat. We're going to go with the, get the bag of D&D salt. Um, we're going to mix it out there. I got uh, I got power heads for mixing, a heater, and pretty much everything is ready to go. And we're going to go mix that up, and then uh, we're going to come back down to the lab, and then we're going to do uh, we're going to do some testing and do some samples through a few different uh, test kits from a few different companies to make sure what's in this bucket is what you get. All right, guys. So let's head outside. All right, farm hands. So we just made it out to the 250 gallon vat. We just saw it uh, in the lab. I showed you the bucket of the H2 Ocean Salt and the nano version as well. But this one here is the bag from my other episode. So this bag here is gonna do up to 250 gallons of water, what I'm gonna need downstairs in the lab. And we got our 250 gallon uh, vat we're gonna end up mixing it in. So this is the H2 Ocean Salt uh, formula by D&D. Um, this one here has got guaranteed results. What's in the bag is what you get, and that's what you wanna look for. If any other companies can't offer you that, why go with them? At least has all your uh, trace elements in there. And the best thing about uh, D&D H2 Ocean Salt, they boost that magnesium level. A lot of different companies, when they're doing their salt mixes, they worry more about the calcium. And we know you need that magnesium for your calcium to be absorbed by all your corals. It's very important. So let's uh, let's turn it around and we'll see everything that's in this bag. So if we look here, it comes with a chart. And this is what they guarantee what you get in this bag. So they have your parameters, your pH, they have it up to an 8.3, a DKH of a 10.5, magnesium 1340. So that's amazing, they got everything that's in here. So with this one here, it's solar evaporated process, uh, was produced from a natural base salt, all right? And then they add in that extra uh, magnesium. So, and then here, they actually keep all the instructions on here as well. Um, use your RO water for a mixture, make sure to use an H2O uh, salinity meter, so definitely help. And then uh, you can use this mix after one hour as well and you won't have any of that residue in your container. So what I want to do here guys is we're going we're gonna to open up this bag, we're going to cut it open, we're going to drop it right into the 250 gallon vat. Um, I got a couple pumps in here, a heater, and we're going to let that mix up for an hour. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a sample of this uh, H2 Ocean Water uh, salt, 
We're gonna take it back down to the lab and we're gonna put it through a couple different uh, test kits that have different companies and make sure we get the same result every time to see if it's guaranteed into this uh, bag of salt. All right, guys, so let's go ahead now. We're gonna mix this up. So I got a pair of scissors. We're just gonna cut, we're gonna cut it open with the bag, it's all open. We got the pumps inside. Bring this over here. So we're gonna pour this right into the vat and let it mix. So this way we get a really good accurate reading. So at any time when you have a, like a brand new bag or a pail, you should always like uh, mix it up like you're uh, gonna make a cake. So she's going in. And then you can mix this for an hour and then you can use it. So we're gonna let this mix for an hour. Then we're gonna come out, we're gonna get a sample we're gonna put it, go back to the lab and we're gonna do a couple tests with a couple different test kits. Make sure we have just exactly what it says what it has on the, on the bag for that guaranteed result. There we go. All right, so I'll bring you guys up close and personal. Very gang, so we got that whole bag in there. So I'm just gonna read some of the information that's on the back for you right here. Um, it says, when you're mixing, use a clean container. Add the correct amount of RO water the table below and make sure your salinity is right on. Um, mix for an hour and then you're good to use it as well. Um, what else is here? So it's got the Magnesium Pro Plus formula. Many salts constrain, uh, boost calcium levels, often ignore magnesium levels. Maintenance of the correct magnesium concentration is equal important in a reef aquarium and will make it much easier to maintain stable calcium and pH and alkalinity levels. So there's a lot of got a lot of great information on here. When it's using one bag, it's good to use that whole bag at once. And then as you guys seen down in the lab, we had the different sizes of pails. You got your nano version. It's a lot easier. Anybody that has a smaller tank, you don't need such a big bucket to carry around the house. So there we go, guys. We got that. She's all mixing up there right now. We're gonna let it mix for an hour. Then we're gonna come back together. We're gonna grab a sample of that water. We're gonna go in the lab and we're gonna do a few different uh, test kits on it. We're gonna test our uh, calcium, pH, and uh, alkalinity and see how the water's doing and get the guaranteed results on the bag, all right? So let's go down to the lab. We're gonna take that sample about an hour. We'll uh, come back together and we're gonna test it together. All right, gang? All right, gang, so we made it up here. We're at the vat right now. Um, I got my multimeter from Hannah. Um, with this one here, this is a lab grade, so I can get a very accurate readings. So we really want to test uh, this D&D salt, make sure everything they guarantee on the bag is in their mix. And that's what we're going to be testing for. With this one here, we're going to test uh, the pH today and the salinity. We have a uh, conductivity meter in this as well, so it'll test the conductivity. That means we're going to be looking for about 35 to 5 uh, parts per million of uh, salt that's in this water. That equals out to a 1.02526 area. So this is what this one does. This one will do all kinds of dissolved solids and everything that's in uh, your tank water. So we're gonna be using this for a year on our rig, so we'll be able to test everything. So what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna show you the meter. This is the meter. Um, this is the multimeter right here. It's fully uh, got the full display. It does your pH ECDO. This is the HI98194. It does pretty much everything. So what we're gonna do here, this is the this is the probe, it has all them built inside. And this is what we're gonna drop right into this vat. And then we're gonna get all the readings on here. We're gonna get the pH, and we're gonna get the salinity of uh, the, the, the d and water. So come on in guys, we'll come up close here so you guys can see the readings firsthand that this salt is accurate what's on the bag. All right gang, so this is our, our, our multimeter. So what we have to do now is just take this probe. We're gonna put it into the vat of the d and H2 Ocean Salt and see if we get all the numbers that they guarantee that's on the bag. So let's go here, let's check it out. So you guys can see on the readings right now, right there. So we're looking for salinity. So the bottom number, the 35.5, that's the salinity that's like on the bag. And then you see at the top, that's our pH, that's 8.3. See that? So if we come over to our bag over here, let's look at the bag. So what are we reading out at? So pH, we're looking for, see, an 8.3, and it can range into 8.2 to 8.4. And if you come down here, so we go reef systems, they're about to run about a 3.3. The 35.5, you see that there? To a 1.026 salinity. So that, there we go guys. So you guys can see here down, that's our D&D H2O salt. And we come back to our meter again, 8.3 pH and 35 and a half 
salinity. All right, gang. All right, gang. So we had we got the numbers that uh, they said that was on the bag so far. We got our pH. We got an 8.3. We got our salinity, 35.5. So that's perfect. So good going there, uh, D and D H2 Ocean. So all we have to do now is test our calcium and our alkalinity. We'll go do another couple tests. Uh, we're gonna go back to the lab and do these ones. I'm gonna take a sample of this water and we'll head down and we'll test it together, guys.